Hey, what's up, everyone? This is David Greenspan welcoming you back to Season 4 of the Mindshare Podcast. Additional podcasts are available at Mindshare101.com and on all the major podcast platforms. This week's episode is sponsored by Kits Keep In Touch Systems and the Buzz Conference. Now, don't miss the Buzz's upcoming event called Disruption, which is happening on March 30th, 2023. Be sure to follow them on Instagram for all the details. Of course, don't forget to check out the Kits Marketing Suite, everything that Kits has to offer between the sales hub, the CRM, the marketing tools that are available to you, the landing pages, the websites. I mean, this is all about generating new leads, being able to convert those leads, turn them into more business, and well, again, this is the best marketing suite you can possibly have in the real estate game. So again, be sure to check out the Kits Marketing Suite. Go over to MindShow101.com and click on Marketing. Now, we are almost at 100 reviews on iTunes. And so I'd like to ask you, please take a moment. Go over to RateThisPodcast.com forward slash MindShare101 or do it directly through any of the platforms that you leverage. Um, Specifically, we're hoping you'll go over to iTunes for this one as we're just tabulating all of those. But um, with that being said, it, it, it means a lot to us. I, uh, I am sincerely grateful that you continue to tune in and listen. I, I, I hope that you are learning a whole bunch and implementing a whole bunch. Um, and of course, as you leave a review, we're going to enter you into a draw to win some free swag as well, just as a little bit of an incentive. Now, just before we get into today's show, uh, this week, I want to share a quick testimonial that we recently received from another one-to-one coaching client of ours, um, Mr. J. Ganem. He had sent this one in and said this, and I quote, I just wish that I started being coached by you last year. I am a totally different fireball. My upcoming results will reveal the change. And you, Mr. David Greenspan, was the spark that ignited the fire. Thank you. Come on. Like, seriously? These, These things make, like, they make my cheeks hurt. Smiling ear to ear. Um, it is so amazing to see the effort that people put in to see the results that they get. And as I've said to you before, and I'll say again, we are always planning way ahead of the pack. And the reason is we want to stay ahead of the pack. See, Mindshare masters are not most people. And that's what happens when you coach with us at Mindshare 101. You experience a coaching program like nothing else. You see a lot of the coaching programs out there. I want you to think about this right now, but a lot of the coaching programs out there that are, you know, that are named after the, the, the main coach, the, you know, the company name is, is the coach's name. When you hire those people, you don't get that person most of the time, but with Mindshare 101, this is you and me. See, we're very selective of who we work with. I want to know that you're going to put in the effort. And when I know that you're going to put in the effort, I'm going to help you get those results. And well, we got a lot of, a lot of testimonies, a lot of proof to back that up. Again, this is you and me. It is a completely custom tailored process. It's a journey that we embark on together that fit your needs. So whether you're new or a veteran in the business, our one-to-one coaching program is your answer. So I encourage you, inquire with us today, go over to mindshow101.com, click on coaching. And one of our Mindshare Experience Coordinators will be in touch with you within the hour. Today's episode is number 208. Now today, it is just you and me. And today, we are about to go full throttle into 2023. I want to break down a whole bunch of stuff with you. I want to talk about the seven holiday season do's and don'ts. We're going to talk about a whole bunch of tips and tricks. And we're going to create this this little plan, this takeaway that you're going to take today, and I want you to implement. So buckle up, as I always say. Mind you, on motorcycles, we don't have any seatbelts. Like I said, full throttle. Anyhow, (laughs) let's go. So here, starting off with our seven holiday season do's and don'ts. Number one, connect with people. So do connect with people. And I'm talking all of your people. Think about your contact list. Think about the people that you, you know, you, you, you frequent with. I mean, myself, again, you know that I'm a, a, a hockey dad, a baseball dad. I'm amongst a lot of different families on a very, very regular basis throughout the week. Connect with these people. Do connect, but don't 
talk real estate. Don't talk about what you do for a living. Instead, ask them questions. Find out more about them. Talk about the things you have in common, like if you're at the hockey rink or the baseball diamond or wherever you are with these people. Talk about that stuff. The more questions you ask, the more you talk about the personal side of life, the deeper the connection you make with that person. So do connect, but don't talk real estate. The second one here, do friend, do follow, don't ignore. Okay, so when you meet somebody, if it's offline, find a way to connect with them online. Maybe it's just getting a phone number. Maybe it's finding them on Facebook or or Instagram. But again, be sure that you friend them or you follow them. Be sure that you create that connection that's going to that's gonna kind of keep you guys present with each other, building that mind share well after you leave wherever it is that you are together in person. Don't just ignore them. Don't just forget about it. Don't think, oh, but isn't that a little bit creepy if I just connect with them like that? Or I don't know, maybe they know somebody else. Hey, listen, if that's your MO, if that's your, your mindset around, well, maybe they know somebody else, then hey, you know what? We all know somebody else. Step aside. Get out of the business if you need to. That's, that's not really the advice I'm giving you right now. <laughs> I don't want you getting out of the business. I want you to grow. I want you to succeed. But I want you to get rid of those barriers of ignoring people, ignoring the opportunities. Remember something. If you see an opportunity there, it doesn't, we don't know when it's going to happen. We don't know if it's going to happen now, if it's going to happen down the road. But when we see an opportunity, grab onto it. Because most people don't. Most people think somebody else has it. If you're listening to this podcast, which obviously you are, my goal, one of my big goals is to make sure that you are not most people. The third one here, do not Post photos or videos when you shouldn't, but definitely get engaged across the online world and share with other people. So do connect, do post, but don't do it at the wrong times. Let me clarify this one a little bit. I think you can read between the lines here, but oftentimes we're out there with people. We're having a great time. Things are going well a dinner party or a get together. We might have a couple drinks. Some people have other things. All good. Enjoy yourself. But just because you're feeling really good doesn't mean all of a sudden it's the perfect time to go and share all this stuff on social media because we don't realize that it's probably not the right time. In the moment, it feels good. In the moment, it feels right. In the moment, we're having fun. Unfortunately, unfortunately, sometimes You can look back at that the next day and go, oh my God. But the one thing we know is that the minute it goes up there, you're not taking it back. It is alive and kicking online. You don't know who screenshotted it. You don't know who else is sharing it. You don't know what's going on. So again, I caution you. Do share. Do post. Do let people in. Don't just talk business as I already said. But just be sure that you're not doing it at the wrong times. And again, the wrong time is on that evening get together where everybody's a little bit looser, having a little bit more fun. Hey, snap the photo, record the video, just don't share it. Then when you're a little bit of a a more, you know, (laughs) um, locked in frame of mind, review that maybe the next day and then go ahead and share. And if you think to yourself, yeah, but it happened last night, it's already old news. Who cares? People don't know when it happened. And what's to say that you had to post in the moment, otherwise it doesn't matter? You're sharing. You're letting people in. The fourth one here. Do give back. Do not expect anything in return. Holiday season is one of those times where many of us are in the spirit of giving. And I really want to encourage that you've got that spirit, you know, 365 days a year, because I believe that, you know, when you give, you shall receive, but do not give to receive. And I'm saying the exact same thing here right now. A running theme around this time of year is to 
uh, donate to a food shelter, to help those people that are, you know, in need. Maybe to go and, and, and drop off blankets or clothes. What we're doing here is we're ensuring that we are helping other people get to ultimately, you know, what they need. And the more we help people get what they need, the more we get helped back with what we need. But again, do give back, but don't expect anything in return. Yes, it's the power of reciprocity, but if you're giving to get, you're not going to get. And another thing that's important to realize too is that the more you give, although the more you will get, sometimes you won't realize that you got. I don't know if that just makes sense to you, if that's a little bit of a mind twister. But good things in life happen when we give to others, when we help others. And as we come into the holiday season, I really want to encourage you, give back. Find something to support. Find someone to support. Find a way to be part of the community. Do not expect anything in return. The fifth one here. Do send handwritten cards. Do not just email everyone. It's too easy to just send out a blast email. It is so insincere. I know it went out to more people. It's too easy to post the holiday message on social media. Again, I know it went out to everybody. Like, we're, like, we're talking mass messaging. I don't get that warm and fuzzy feeling from you. But when you actually take pen and put it on paper, and you actually send me a handwritten card, a note, uh, 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 whatever, I know you took time. I get the warm and fuzzy. We all do. Then the next thing that happens, we actually take that card and we like put it up on our desk, especially around holiday season or, or, or birthday season or anniversary season. I'll take that card and I'll put it up because it feels good. Think about all the cards you get. Think about all the people you know and now think about all the cards you don't get. Now I'm going to slip this in there right now. We want to talk about building mind share. When you send a handwritten card and somebody gets it, they feel it. They get the warm and fuzzies from you. You just hit this, this subconscious trigger within them to think about you. They take the card, they put it up on the desk. Now they're thinking about you even more. Well, hey, now you're building a lot of mind share. So, I mean, this is a double down right here, right? When you're sending the handwritten note, it gives people that, that nice feeling. It also helps you build a lot of mind share. When you email blast or just post on social media, well, you don't achieve the same amount of mind share. You definitely do not cause the warm and fuzzies and you don't fall into this, this different basket with people of like, yeah, that's one of my people. You're just another person. You are most people. And I know I've said this, and I'm going to say it again. We don't want to be most people. We want to win. Number six, do get prepared. Do not wait until the last minute. Get prepared now. Think about your goals now. Think about your marketing plan now. December is literally around the corner. 2023 is around the corner. We've got holiday season coming up, obviously, as we're talking about right now. We know it's going to be a busy time over the next number of weeks. It is very, very easy to fall off of business, to fall off of our focus, to fall off of everything that we are trying to accomplish. It's easy. So the strategy here, the action step here is to prepare now. Take time this week. Take time over the next few days to review everything you're doing and what you want to accomplish. Be planned. I want you right now to come away from today, from this episode, saying to yourself, I'm ready for January 1st. Prepare yourself. Don't wait until the last minute. And finally, the seventh one here, tis the season. Do have fun. Do not drive under the influence. Have a ton of fun. Have a shit ton of fun. Okay, again, you know, the past few years was, was real different when it came to holiday season. This is a moment in time where we are, we are back to, you know, I do the air quotes here, normal. Enjoy. Enjoy every moment. Embrace the moment. Just do not drive under the influence. We need you back here. We need you pumping. We need you ready to rock for 2023. You hear me? All right. So those were your seven do's and don'ts. 
Do connect, don't talk real estate. Don't talk business. Do friend people, do not ignore people. Do post, do not do it at the wrong time. Do give back, do not expect anything in return. Do send handwritten cards, notes. Do not mass message everybody. Do get prepared, do not wait until the last minute. Do have fun, do not drive under the influence. Now, Let's roll into some tips and tricks, as I mentioned to you, okay? Because, again, as we're, as we're moving ahead, and I've kind of brought up some of the stuff, as I just mentioned, uh, you know, the other do's and don'ts for the holiday season. But tips and tricks here. I got three things I want to talk about. I want to talk about goal setting. I want to talk about marketing. I want to talk about mindset. So goal setting. Preparing for the new year. Let's get a little bit more detail there, because like I just said a moment ago, do get prepared. Do not wait until the last minute. Well, let's, let's go into a few little details here. I want to give you some action steps, okay? Some ways that you can actually implement to make it all come to life. And when I say all, I'm referring to everything that you want in life. Now, there's a way to make this happen, but you've got to put in the work. You've got to put in the effort. When you put in the effort, you get the results. So the first step here, I want you to review everything that you accomplished this year. Look back on your year in 2022. What did I accomplish? What did I set out to do? And what did I achieve? Now, that in itself has to be a very rewarding feeling. That's got to be something where you really, really get that dopamine dump where you go, you know, man, I feel good about myself. Look at, look at, look at that. I did it. And we've got to take those moments. Because when you don't take those moments, You don't realize the goodness that you have. You don't realize necessarily what you accomplished. And I want to continue to say this. Money is not the solution to happiness, the answer to happiness, the answer to self-fulfillment or or what we accomplish in life. Money is just one, one little piece of it. There is so much more out there that we as individuals need to focus on in our life. Did I spend enough time with family and loved ones? Did I, you know, do enough self-development? Did I do enough, you know, um, personal development in terms of like, um, you know, working out physically self-development. I'm referring to like reading books and educating ourselves. And you're doing that right now by tuning into this podcast. You're feeding your brain. We got to look back on these things. Did I take as many vacations as I wanted to? Did I do the IPAs, the income producing activities that I needed to do to get me to the income level that I wanted to hit this year? Go back and review, reward yourself by you know, maybe a simple pat on the back or maybe a, a look yourself in the mirror and just smile. Do a little wink, wink face, <laughs> whatever you want. The point is you've got to acknowledge that you actually did it. Because if you don't, where's that self-gratification? And now I do this on a daily basis, right? Like part of our goal planning is to, is to really mark it all down, right? What do I want to achieve? Then quantify it. How much of it do I want? Once I know how much of it I want, what are my action steps to get me there? And I mean, this is all stuff we teach in our coaching program. Like we, we break this right down. In fact, I'll tell you now, um, our mindshare masters, our, our coaching clients, either in our group coaching, our one-to-one coaching, everybody is going to be ready to rock for January 1st by about December 1st this year. I've already got clients telling me we're only mid-November going, Dave, I can start January tomorrow. We are winning. I want you to picture a locomotive, a train barreling down the tracks and you're standing there at the side of the tracks on the the little mezzanine right there and the train just goes, flies right by you and the wind just blows your hair and blows your jacket. That's us. That was a Mindshare Masters train that just went by you right there. Now, if you want, you can jump on the train. We'll stop the train for just a brief moment. You can jump on and join us. I'll teach you exactly these processes. We're seeing clients who've achieved more GCI this year in a tougher market than they did last year. Why? Because we are locked and loaded. We've got plans. We've got goals. Because they knew what they wanted to achieve, and we set out up on, a, on, on a journey to do that. Now, much the same. When we set out to do goals, it doesn't mean we hit them all. So part of this process that I'm going to encourage you to do now as well is to look back on the things that you set out to do, look back on what you did or did not accomplish. And for the things that you did reward yourself for the things that you did not analyze, why, why didn't I hit that? What didn't I do? Maybe I didn't schedule properly. Maybe I wasn't focused enough. 
Maybe I tried as hard as I could. Good. That's something to reward yourself for. But if you didn't hit the time, if you weren't focused enough, if you just procrastinated, well, that's something that's got to change because if you really want it bad enough, then we got to get out there and go get it. The choice is yours and only yours. So again, analyze what you did not accomplish. Ask yourself why you did not accomplish it. And then figure out what you're going to do to make sure that this is added to your 2023 list of goals so that you will accomplish it. See, the process of goal setting is about writing things down. It's about thinking. And oftentimes I suggest to anybody, you know, take a couple hours on maybe like a Friday night. Grab your favorite glass of whatever. And just sit down and, and, and write. What do I want? And this could be a what you want in life. Write it down. All we're going to do is break it down in life and say, okay, what did you want in life? How, 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 when do you want it? Great. How much of that do we need to do in the next 365 days to get you closer to getting what you want in life? Because we got to realize we're not going to eat the elephant all in one bite, right? We're not going to get it all in one year, whatever it is. But there's a lot, of, there's a lot that we can accomplish in a year. So again, when we mark it down, we quantify it. We then create the right action steps to go get it. One plus one equals two. We end up getting it. So as a tip and trick here from, a, uh, um, I guess the first part that I'm trying to explain to you here is goal setting. Put what I just mentioned in place. Have yourself prepared and do this over the next day, few days, maybe week. I'm really encouraging you not to wait weeks to do this because what's going to happen is the holidays are going to come up on us real quick. We're going to get busy with the hustle and bustle running around. We're going to realize that time is just flying by. Next thing you know, it's going to be close to the end of the year or it's going to be bang on January 1st, brand new year. Then it's January 7th. Then it's January 15th. Then all of a sudden it's February and you still haven't done anything. Then you're not on that locomotive, right? You're not on that train. You're on the mezzanine watching everybody else fly by you. I want you to picture that one, and I want you to tell yourself, I need to get on that train. Well, if you need to do that, that's a choice you have to make. And I'm telling you right now, it starts with writing it down. Schedule time in your calendar for when you're going to do it. Commit to doing it. Get it done. Feel good about yourself, because now you're ready. Next up, marketing. Or as we like to call it, building mindshare. Right. Let's talk about your 2023 plan to build Mindshare for a quick moment here. Okay. Go back to your GCI that you earned this past year. Did you hit what you wanted to hit? This, this kind of brings in the goals, right? But did you hit what you wanted to hit? Do you have, did you not hit it? Why didn't you hit? You see, again, part of the process when we're tracking with our Mindshare Masters around the goals and the, the, the plans and the budgeting and, and the income is that if you want to achieve X amount of dollars of income, you've got to do X amount of action steps around building Mindshare. And so we label each one of those out in detail of like, okay, so you want X amount of dollars. Here are the things that we need to do. Here's how many of those we need to do. Now go do. And then as we track whether we did or we didn't do, we get to see, again, why did I hit the number? Why didn't I hit the number? So from a marketing perspective, again, much like I just said to you about setting goals at about this time of the year, as soon as the goals are done, I want you to start reviewing your marketing plan. Using your Mindshare Model T, your AMH, which we've talked about, audience, marketing, and hustle. Breaking down your two groups. Group number one, what am I doing for marketing? What is that monthly cost to me? Group number two. What am I doing for marketing? What does that monthly cost to me? Asking yourself if you're truly using all seven ways to communicate. Looking back on your deal tracker, which again is another, another uh, a system and process that we implement over here with Mindshare, with the coaching program of tracking every single deal and every single source of those deals so that we know what marketing is working and what's not. Where should I be spending my money and where shouldn't I be? Where should I double down and spend more? Where should I spend more time and where shouldn't I be? What's working and what's not? We go through all of that. I want you to have the most efficient marketing plan in the business. And well, all of our Mindshare Masters do. We also make sure that we know exactly what your budget is. So I want you to review that. How much money do you actually have to spend on a monthly basis? 
Are you spending that money in the right places? Are you overspending? Are you underspending? Could we be spending more? Ultimately, understanding how much money you have to spend on marketing and whether or not you're using all seven ways to communicate and whether or not you're marketing the right audience is what's going to determine the amount of GCI that you make, the amount of the, the, the award level that you hit, maybe the personal satisfaction that you feel at the end of the year. Now, again, the locomotive, we review this every single quarter. We don't do this once a year. We don't do this in our heads. There's an actual business plan that we follow, that we punch the numbers in and we execute on. And by doing that, we are able to help people work easier, spend less, and make so much more money. It is so empowering to watch people take their businesses and personal lives to the next level. So again, your marketing plan, break it all down. Use the Model T. Go through the AMH. Make sure you've got the seven ways to communicate, the ultimate marketing bundle. And if you don't have it yet, go to my website, mindshow101.com. I've got it for you there as a free resource right there on the homepage. Just download it. It's all yours. Just reference it and make sure you're always using the seven ways to communicate. When you've got your plan in place, you will build a lot of mind share and it equals a lot of market share. Again, this is you setting up the plan, setting up the machine to put you in the right place at the right time even though you don't know when that time is. And by doing so, you'll be able to take more vacations. You'll be able to spend more time with family. And again, you're going to make a lot more money. The plan works. Get on the train. Third thing here. Mindset. We need a system to hold ourselves accountable. We need a system to reward ourselves. We need a system to help us recognize if we're doing good or not. Because without that, how do we know? And this comes all back in line with the goal setting and the marketing that I just mentioned. That if we're not tracking it, and again, you got to know what to track and you got to know how to lay it out. And this is all stuff that's, that's, that's part of our program. But whatever you do, however you do it, you've got to have a plan to track, right? So a plan to... Uh, you know, what am I going to do? How am I staying on target? A plan to track that. And again, a plan to reward yourself. Well, by being able to hold ourselves accountable and be able to reward ourselves, we keep the mindset strong. We keep it in one of, of power, in, in, in one of winning, in one of determination, in one of confidence. We stay mentally strong no matter what happens. And let's be real, shit is going to happen. It's always going to happen. The difference is how we deal with it day in and day out. So some of the tricks here have that tracking system. Know what you're accomplishing every single day. Review it every single day. Look at your goals every single day. Remind yourself of why you're getting up to do it every single day. Feed your brain every single day. I know I've said that a few times here. And again, congratulations and thank you for tuning into the MindShare podcast. Feed your brain every day, be it a podcast, be it a video, be it a training session, a seminar, a conference, be it a book. I know I've told you many times before. I read my book every day, 30 minutes a day. And I got some amazing books. If you want any recommendations, reach out. Every day, though, I'm feeding my brain. I know I've said this one too, right? We, we get up every day and we're so good at feeding our bellies, but most people don't think about feeding their brain. Well, we've got to feed our brain. It's the strongest muscle we have. This is what keeps us going. This is what keeps us motivated. This is why I keep talking about the locomotive. Get on the train. <laughs> feed your brain. <laughs> Sorry, that was so corny. <laughs> You get it though? Mindset to be sharp. We got to feel good. Then people start to ask like, man, what, what, what are you drinking? What's in your water? What's in your coffee? How do you have so much energy? Why are you so positive? Then they start to wonder as they're looking at your social media and they're looking at you in person. They're looking at you around. They go, man, how'd he do it? How'd she do it? And people start to wonder and they think you're bigger than life. 
And you know what? I'm going to tell you this. Who cares about what they think, whether it's good or bad? Who cares? What's important is how you think. When you look yourself in the mirror, do you feel good about you? Do you feel good about what you accomplished? One thing's for sure, most people don't. Most people are always ruminating. Why them? Why them? Why not me? How do I do this? I can't do it. Oh my God. And they're bitching and complaining and they don't even realize it. And hey, we all do it. You're not alone. It's not just you. It's all of us. Because that's life. That's human nature. By having a process, by having a system that, again, holds ourselves accountable, setting goals, empowering time to manage us, sticking to our schedule, knowing what we're supposed to be doing in a day rather than chasing squirrels all day. When we can sit back at the end of the night and we can look and be rewarded because we know what we accomplished, we can see what we accomplished. We write it down in a grateful journal because we are grateful for what we accomplished, what we have in life, and we all If you're listening to this podcast, you certainly have what to be grateful for. You have the ability to listen to this podcast. And it's not this podcast. It's any podcast. But the bigger picture of that is you probably have a phone or you're in your car. You're listening to it on some device. You should be grateful that you even have that opportunity. You should be grateful that you got a roof over your head. You should be grateful that you have your health, which I certainly hope you do. You should be grateful for your family. When we can sit back and know that we went through our day and we accomplished what we set out to accomplish, we achieved and got closer to achieving the things we wanted most in life, and that we have an abundant life, there's so much to be grateful for. Now, in order to keep that mindset sharp and keep it fresh and keep it focused, again, personal development. Feed that brain as much as you possibly can. Have these different checklists for what you can, you can look at to go, yeah. Because even, look, even when you've had an accomplished day in a day, you've got what to be grateful for. It still doesn't mean that some of those thoughts or some of those weights in that pit of your stomach or on your shoulders or in your mind are not there. Again, we all go through it. The solution, the idea here, though, is what do I have that I can reference to help me remember to remind me, hey, you're good. It's all good. That feeling you're having, fine. You can have it, but don't let it affect the mind. And this is something else that we work on so much with our clients. Mindset. Creating that positivity. Creating that feeling of power, of winning, of nothing is going to stop me. I get joy in turning you into a machine. And when you're a machine, anything is possible. Now I'll tell you, with our coaching program, we have had tremendous, tremendous success stories. I've got people, like I said a moment ago, who've told me that they are ready for January 1st now. Some of those same people last year when it came to goal setting before they worked with us were Freaking out, going, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm having these anxiety attacks because I'm not sure what's up. Through working through the process with them, they're in a completely different mindset. They're in a completely different income bracket. Why? Because they got the help they needed by bringing Mindshare 101, myself, David Greenspan, on as their coach. They got the energy they needed. They got the personal development they needed. They got the confidence they needed and the plan they needed to execute day in and day out. People getting better with social media. People getting more comfortable on video. People taking more vacations. That elusive work-life balance. Like I said, I got people that are making more money this year than they did last year. I got people that are, are hitting award levels that they've never hit before. I've got people that are on this train that are grateful for being on the train. And I'm not saying you got to be grateful to us. You don't got to, you got to be grateful to you. This is your choice. This is your investment into yourself. I mean, imagine this, okay? You could invest a small amount of money, a small sum of money into you and your business and your processes. 
And in the game that you're in, you got the opportunity to make so much money. Imagine a small little investment can return millions of dollars. You can invest in real estate. It's not going to be a small investment. We both know it's going to be hundreds of thousands. You can invest in stocks. Again, it could be small, but it's, it's a completely unknown. You got zero control. The beauty is with this, when you invest in you and you get the help that you, you, you may not even realize that you need, but you get that help, you get that guidance, you get to a next level. You are fully in control of you. I mentioned off the top, one of my clients there, that, that little shout out that I gave to, uh, to my client, Jay, saying, saying again, I wish I started being coached by you last year. I'm a totally different fireball. My upcoming results will reveal the change. And you, Mr. David Greenspan, was the spark that ignited the fire. That is empowering. That's empowering for me. That's empowering for my client. I can tell that this gentleman is locked in and loaded and ready to go. There's so much benefit to bringing on a coach. We've got success story after success story of people who are finding their next level. People who are finding that next level of energy inside of themselves. People that are learning things that they've always wanted to learn that they need help with. And hey, speaking of help, we all need help in some area of our life. And there's personal stuff that happens. There's business stuff that happens. As we have the right people around us that are surrounding us to help us work through all of it. Again, we are that locomotive flying down the tracks. And I dare you to try to keep up with us. In fact, I invite you to join us. So all that being said, we do offer one-to-one coaching, as you're obviously aware of. Um, I want to help you get to your next level. Your time is right now. And, you know, the excuse of, well, I'll start in January. Hey, listen, you want to start in January? Reach out to us. No problem. We can get started in January. But I'm going to encourage you right now, right this second, as you listen to this, if we are not working together yet, connect with us. One of our Mindshare Experience Coordinators will be in touch with you within the hour to set up a complimentary call. Let's see if we jive. You might still be unsure. I'm going to tell you straight. I'm still unsure about you. I want to know that you're going to put in the effort because I know if you put in the effort, you will get the results and we're both going to sit back and it's going to be a win-win situation. We're going to feel good about the progress you're making. You're going to feel ecstatic about the progress you're making. Then, then, only then, will you realize that that investment that you made into yourself is going to pay dividends for the rest of your life. Inquire with us today. Let's have a call. Let's have a chat. So we've talked today about the do's and don'ts, the seven holiday do's and don'ts. We've talked about tips and tricks around goal setting, marketing, mindset, how to prepare for the new year, how to build mind share in the new year, and how to have a system to hold yourself accountable and reward yourself. Of course, I've just shared with you how coaching will help you. And I'd like to share more with you. If you find value in this podcast, and I, I, I want to believe that while you're still here, and if you're a regular listener, you certainly do. And I, I, once again, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to be in your ear. I thank you for putting in the effort to get the results that you want. I hope that you'll share with me as you start to, to grow and experience the things that you'll learn from here are working. And if you're enjoying this podcast, I really want to ask you, please take a moment to rate the podcast. It would mean the world to us. It helps us get out to more people. And as I talked about, one of the do's is do give back. Hey, please. (laughs) Giving back would be going over to iTunes right now, going over to uh, this link, ratethispodcast.com forward slash mindshow 101. Give us a big five stars. Let us know how much you love the show. Like I keep saying, it means the world to us. It, 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 It reminds us we're doing a good job. As I talk about rewards, I talk about accountability. This is one for me. The reward is just knowing that we're making a difference. That's all it is. You're prepped and ready. Full throttle for 2023. Let's go. And if you missed any part of this, rewind right now. Go back and listen to this episode. Make sure you're taking your notes. Track everything. And again, if you want to talk further, 
get in touch with me. One of the biggest things I'm going to leave you with, as I always like to leave you with, is get out there and build that mind share because it equals market share. You're either listening to this on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, or Spotify. Or maybe you went to my website, MindShare101.com. And while you're on my site, make sure to download your free copy of the Ultimate Marketing Bundle. This is a 31-page ebook packed with tips and tricks for you. Plus, there's a ready-to-go 90-day social media content calendar to help you build more Mindshare so that you can get more market share. You can also grab a copy of our Perfect Daily Planner to help keep you organized day in and day out. As I just mentioned, if you want to talk about personalized one-to-one coaching, an in-person keynote talk for your upcoming event, and or ongoing virtual training, just get in touch. We'll set up that free consultation call. We'll learn more about what you're looking to achieve and how we will help you do exactly that. Also, as I also mentioned here, do not forget to enter the draw for some free swag by leaving a very, very simple review over at ratethispodcast.com forward slash mindshare101. Of course, if we haven't yet, connect with me on Facebook at Mindshare 101 and on Instagram at David Greenspan 101. I want to once again thank the Buzz Conference for sponsoring today's episode. Be sure to check out all of the awesome events they are always hosting, along with getting the latest copy of the Buzz Digital Magazine. We are proud to have the Buzz Conference as an ongoing sponsor of the Mindshare Podcast. Of course, I want to thank Kids Keep In Touch Systems for sponsoring today's episode. Remember, you are not marketing properly if you are not using kits one-to-one marketing. Check out mindshow101.com and click on marketing to learn all about this powerful marketing tool. This has been another episode of the Mindshare Podcast. Thank you for tuning in.